The Cat from Outer Space is a Disney feature film from 1978. It's directed by Norman Tokar and written by Ted Key and stars Ken Barry. As Frank, we also have this beautiful, beautiful cat. And the cat is absolutely stunning. And I'm really surprised that I hadn't seen this before because growing up, I watched every live-action cat-based film I could get my hands on, but I don't have any recollection of having seen this. To be honest, I don't know if I would have liked it as a child. I can confirm that I didn't enjoy it as an adult, and there are two reasons for that. And it's per it's down to personal preference. It's not necessarily the fault of the film, though I will say that it's it's very slow. Not a lot happens. It's it's over an hour and a half. I think it's about an hour and forty minutes, and it just drags on and on. So I do think the pacing is not great. But in terms of personal preference, I don't like sci-fi very much. I don't like films that focus on the military, and both of those are at the heart of this. So while I do think there is still room for improvement with the film, for me personally, it just didn't work very well. But I love the cat, and the cat is in it a lot. I say that because sometimes when live-action films are about an animal... That animal might not actually be in it very much, mostly because it's difficult to film with animals. But the cat is in this an enormous amount, and apparently the cat is actually played by two cats, these beautiful, beautiful Abyssinians. Uh, according to Wikipedia, they are called Rumpler and Amber. That's the name of the cats who played this cat. And it's about a cat who lands on Earth in a spaceship, and the military become involved, and the people who sent the cat are trying to get the ship back, but it doesn't happen immediately. And Frank teams up with the cat and they work together to help each other. And it, it's very sci-fi and very military driven. And I really cannot stand either of those as as aspects of, of a film. I just do not care for them. What is interesting, though, is we have a really great cast. Uh, alongside Ken Barry, we have Roddy McDowell, we've got McLean Stevenson, Hans Conry, James Hampton. So there were a lot of actors in this whose work I, I really enjoy. So I wouldn't say I hated the film, but I really didn't like the sci-fi aspects. They were well done. There's nothing wrong with the sci-fi aspect. I mean, it's very 70s sci-fi, but it's it's well enough done. And I didn't like the military aspect, and that's very much the bulk of the film. But I did love the cat. Well, the cats, because there were two of them playing this role. The collar as well. The cat's collar is very significant, and I do think the design of it is amazing. It looks incredible. Very, very well done. And I enjoyed watching the actors doing their thing. So... There were some bits about it that I liked, but I, as, as an entertaining film, I, I didn't really care for it at all, unfortunately. If you like sci-fi, and indeed if you like cat-based films, then I think you might, you might enjoy it. But there are too many things that I don't like in general that just meant that this film didn't work for me. But again, even with that being said, I do think it was very slow. I think there were opportunities to tighten the narrative off to make things a little bit smoother and a little bit less boring to be quite honest it wasn't an entertaining film for me it could have been a little bit more interesting if the pace was a bit quicker if a few more interesting things happened but I'm not going to fully hold the film responsible for me not liking it as I don't think that's fair would I recommend it yes if it sounds like it would appeal to you and unfortunately Despite the adorable cat and the brilliant cast, it's not one that appealed to me very much at all. The Cat from Outer Space is possibly one I didn't see as a child. Maybe I saw it and didn't like it, I don't know. But watching it now, I can confirm that while there is definite room for improvement, it's mostly just down to personal preference that The Cat from Outer Space is not one that I enjoyed.